good morning from North Texas. Saturday morning, we done made a run to the dump, got rid of a bunch of boxes. I mean, a two horse trailer full of boxes. Uh, yeah, anyway, put all that in the recycle. And we are heading to Canton. Go down here and visit mom and uh, my uncle and aunt. But, uh, let's see, whoop, messed up. Time check would be 10, 15. 43 degrees and sunny, but crisp air. They said we might have snow tomorrow. So I'm wearing my snow shirt. See it? My Hawaiian shirt. Truly is a Hawaiian shirt. My mom bought it for me at the Pearl Harbor Museum uh, in Hawaii. Anyway, yeah, it's got airplanes on it. Anyway, um, just going to do a little quick uh, video here. Uh, we're going to go on a uh, state hunt next week uh, in Brownwood State Park which is uh, about three hours west of where we are uh, kind of south east of Abilene and uh, we're going out there for spikes and does it's a management hunt so there will be no uh, no big bucks uh, dropped they're just trying to thin their herd out uh, they had a hunt this week but the lady uh, called the uh, park ranger and they didn't have any information on how the hunt was going. So we'll figure it out. But anyway, we, we used to put in for these hunts really frequently. Uh, well, I mean, we put in every year, but uh, we, we seem to draw pretty frequently. I'm gonna say every other, maybe every three years, we draw a hunt and randomly we just go do a standby hunt just for the fun of it just go down there and see if they got a spot open uh, we did uh, Fairfield State Park that way which is about an hour south of my deer lease and uh, we didn't kill anything but it was kind of neat just to uh, you know camp by the lake there and uh, just hunt some property that you normally would not get to see so that's the way I'm looking at this deal we're going to stay uh, at Lake Brownwood, that's a CCC deal. I looked that up. Uh, I heard my grandfather got some of that work, uh, you know, during the Depression and stuff. That they put people to work, and so they built these cabins, and they're made out of rock. I mean, just rock and, and mortar, and put them together, and built steps and all this. It's a really cool deal. So uh, I'm, we're going to go out there, and we're going to stay in the state park uh, in one of the little cabins believe it or not with a fireplace so it's gonna be interesting so anyway uh, I'll post some of that up uh, those of you that's been kind of following me yes uh, my number one six five two eighty four will be going in a backup role because uh, like I said those of you who have seen we've got that Ruger American in six Creedmoor uh, I think it's a Predator I don't, I don't remember my name anyway, it's threaded got a dropout magazine anyway I haven't shot it suppressed so uh, we're not gonna do any of that but we're the thing just shoots just fantastic groups so uh, that's what we're gonna go hunt with so it'll be its maiden voyage uh, into the woods that's not true that's not true it went to the deer lease with me twice this year but it went as uh, the primary rifle one weekend, and the next weekend it was back up because I got my 65284 back. Anyway, so uh, I will be posting. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have Wi-Fi out there. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I'll try to post up some stuff from out there. We'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll try to get you a little glimpse of that. I'm a big fan of these uh, state hunts. They're they're almost always management. Uh, Parks and Wildlife does real good things with their money. Uh, not a big fan of sending the government any money, but Parks and Wildlife, I, I think they're very effective with the money they get, and uh, I'm pretty impressed by them. So I don't, I don't mind sending them money every year uh, just to put in these hunts. And if I don't get drawn, it's fine. So, you know, it's the, 
the money I send them every year and on the hunts is, you know, uh, I, I have a, a lunch at McDonald's more or less. I mean, it's it's not much. So anyway, uh, of course you got to pay to hunt. You got to pay to stay there, which is fine. Uh, I I don't mind paying. I, you know, I'd be willing to pay them as much as a hotel room because you don't have to leave. Uh, you're, you're there and you don't have to go. So, I mean, it, it's only 500 and something acres. So, theoretically, wherever I'm staying, I'm not more than, you know, uh, 15, 15 minute drive from one end to the other. So, anyway. So, that's kind of what we got going. Uh, looking forward to that. Got to go in and work Monday, and then we're off the rest of the week. So uh, hopefully Monday will go a lot smoother than this past Friday went. That was uh, a train wreck looking for a nuclear meltdown. Uh, anyway, wasn't a real happy boy Friday afternoon, but you know that's the way things go sometimes. That's why they call it work. So, anyway, we'll get off that subject all together. We get to go hunt next week, so, and see some woods we hadn't seen. We're going to go probably the scenic route. Instead of going the interstate, we're going to go the state highway, which should take us about 30 minutes longer. But we'll get to go through Comanche, uh, Stephenville, little towns like that. I used to hunt right outside of Comanche. That was, boy, that was some good hunting hunting over peanut fields. Pretty interesting. But anyway, uh, kind of do a little uh, drive down memory lane that way. And then, uh, of course, we find some interesting stops, probably make a stop or two. But anyway, uh, the hunting hunting doesn't start until uh, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, Wednesday, I believe, is when the got to go through orientation and all that. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll try to post something up on that deal uh, as we get closer. Maybe try to do it little bite-sized pieces so you wouldn't have to listen to me ramble, ramble, ramble. And that's how it is. So we're heading east. We'll go out and visit mom at the farm. And it's a good day. Got to spend uh, a couple hours with my son this morning. That was, that was fun. That was good. So uh, just a happy dad at this point. See you.